In today's video, I'm going to be showing you eight exercises that you need to be doing if you are a football player. First up, we're going to be going for a trap bar deadlift. The reason I'm going for a trap bar rather than a conventional deadlift is because conventional deadlift will put far more load and stress on your low back. We are looking for glute activation and power in this movement. So I'm not overloading the bar with loads of weight and I'm going for speed and glute contraction. It's important to make sure you lock your hips under or slightly behind the shoulders, not in front of the shoulders, like I'm showing you right now, as that deactivates the muscles that we want to be working and put stress into the low back. Next up, we are going to be going for box squats and I like to do these to a range of different angles. There's a huge misconception that if you're not squatting all the way down, then you're not getting any benefits. I was a sprinter in the British team for over 10 years and I never once squatted to parallel. If you think about the functional movement of running around a football pitch, the majority of the time, you will not be at a deep squat position. So it's important to be able to generate power from the angles I'm showing you, which are far more transferable to what you'll be doing on the pitch. Later in this video, we will do exercises where we go to a deeper angle, but on one leg at a time, which again will be far are more functional to how you will move on a football pitch. Romanian deadlifts are a great exercise for footballers and anyone that does a sport that involves running. We have all heard of hamstring injuries in football and this is why it's a crucial exercise to add to your training. Most of the time I see people doing these, they're going way too far down by flexing at the back as I'm showing you right now, or they try to get low by increasing the bend in the leg so that it ends up more like another squat rather than an RDL. Make sure when you're doing these you have a slight bend in your legs and rotate from the hips, keeping your backs locked as you rotate. You'll feel your hamstrings being targeted. Next, we have single leg Romanian deadlifts, which are a much more difficult exercise and it requires a lot more balance. You can also call this exercise supermans and sometimes I do it like a superman by reaching my spare arm out in front as my rear leg raises. It's important during this exercise to not let one hip raise up but instead try and keep your hips as flat as possible and then rotate the hips lifting one leg up and keeping your back locked just as you were doing during the RDLs. Again you do not want to get the range of motion by allowing the movement to come from your back or by squatting into this exercise. Keep the slight knee flexion, keep the hips flat, keep the back locked in and rotate from the hips. This one will really work your hamstrings hard. Hip flexor cable pulls is the next exercise on the list and you can see by the position I'm going into here how transferable this exercise is into running around the football pitch. Having strong hip flexors will really help you not only to sprint faster but will also help you generate a lot more power when you kick the ball. I like to do this exercise leaning forward and supporting my body then bending the standing leg and extending it as I raise the working leg. This helps to mimic the functional movement of sprinting. Lunges are an exercise where we can get into a much deeper squat on one leg and also straight from the hips while making them more flexible. It's important with the lunges to really sit onto the front leg and keep the heel down, almost like doing single leg squats. The most common mistake I see with lunges is putting one leg in front of the other. It almost makes it like walking a tightrope and it's why a lot of people struggle to keep balance on lunges. Make sure you give yourself some space, hip width at least, and this will really help your balance. Okay guys, so before we get into the next exercise, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. If you want to check them out, the website is hellofresh.co.uk and if you use code COACHRICHARD60, you'll get a whopping 60% off your first order and 25% off your next eight orders. HelloFresh is actually the UK's leading recipe brand and you just select the meals that you want and they will package the ingredients together along with the recipe and ship it out to you. And I promise you, I've been using them for about six months and every single time that I've used them, the ingredients have been super, super fresh. Their recipes are super easy to follow and if you're having friends around or if you just want to change up your diet and be a little bit more creative then HelloFresh might be for you because it is so simple, so easy, super fresh and really delicious. Make sure you check it out. So today I'm going to be making some teriyaki sesame chicken. It's going to be done in just 20 minutes. Step ups is a great exercise for so many different sports and you can probably see by now why this exercise is so beneficial to football. This is another exercise that I like to do at different angles so I tend to use different box heights but a major mistake I do see with this exercise is people using a box that's just way too high. Maybe they see it as more challenging but it's completely unfunctional and it's not productive and they tend to have to use the back leg to get some momentum off the floor. It's also important in this exercise to keep the knee stable and moving in a straight line as you step both onto the box and off the box. This will also help to engage a lot more muscles, improve your balance and get the most out of the exercise. On this exercise, I lean in, making sure all of my weight is on the front leg and I don't drive any weight from the floor using the back leg. 
The final exercise in this video is adductor squeezes. I like to do this with a soft medicine ball and I squeeze for five to six seconds and then I release. If you've never done this exercise before, you will be really surprised at how weak your groin might be and how much you feel it working hard with just an isometric hold. I do this exercise in a few different positions, legs bent with the feet on the floor, legs bent with the feet in the air and straight legs with the ball between the ankles. Groin injuries are extremely common in football and this is a great exercise to strengthen the groin in different positions.